In this comprehensive video, we delve deep into everything you need to know about the Javelin missile system, one of the most advanced anti-tank weapons in the world. From its development and technical specifications to its operational use in modern warfare, we cover all aspects of this remarkable weapon. What you'll learn. The history and evolution of the Javelin missile. Key features and capabilities. How the Javelin missile operates, including its fire and forget technology. Real-world applications and case studies. Comparisons with other anti-tank systems, future developments and enhancements in missile technology. Whether you're a military enthusiast, a student of defense studies, or simply curious about modern weaponry, this video is packed with valuable insights and information. Join us as we explore the Javelin missile's impact on military strategy and its role in today's defense landscape. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth analyses and guides on military technology. The contract is established as a business partnership between Javelin, Javelin Joint Venture, of Lockheed Martin and Raytheon Javelin. The contract is valued at $1.3 billion for the production of FGM-148 Javelins for the U.S. Army, marking the largest annual production contract to date. The Javelin may not have the sleek and lethal appearance its name suggests, as it looks like a rough dumbbell just over a meter long. However, an impressive appearance isn't needed to destroy a tank, and this military gem has everything necessary to do so. The FGM-148 Javelin is the primary man-portable guided anti-tank weapon in the U.S. and other NATO countries. It uses infrared tracking to guide itself toward its target, being extremely accurate against enemy armored threats. This peculiar weapon is capable of transforming the modern battlefield, giving small groups of soldiers the ability to neutralize advanced armored vehicles and multi-million dollar tanks, thereby leveling the combat field. The Javelin began as a replacement for the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile. At the time, the M47 was quite effective in taking down Soviet tanks with a well-placed shot. However, its main drawback was that the launcher had to maintain a line of sight with the target, leaving the operator exposed until impact. Moreover, its range was less than one and a half kilometers, putting it within range of a tank's heavy machine guns. The FGM-148 Javelin revolutionized this scenario. Introduced in 1996, it eliminated wire-guided tracking and replaced it with an automatic infrared tracking system, becoming a fire-and-forget weapon. This allowed the operator to relocate or take cover once the missile was launched. Additionally, its range increased to 4.7 kilometers, keeping the operator out of danger. In 2016 UK trials, the Javelin achieved 100% effectiveness in five test shots, accurately hitting targets between 1.2 and 4.3 kilometers away. Its tandem charge heat, or high explosive anti tank warhead, can penetrate between 600 and 800 millimeters of steel, making it a lethal threat to almost any tank. The Javelin can also engage helicopters, but it must be used in direct attack mode for this purpose, as the missile's signature top down attack is less effective against helicopters due to interference from the rotors. The system consists of two parts the Command Launch Unit, or CLU, and the Missile Assembly. Though heavier than other systems like the RPG, it is far more portable and versatile. Its operation is simple. The operator connects a cable, waits for the system to reach the proper temperature, and it's ready to fire. The launch is smooth, reducing recoil and dust pickup, thus concealing the operator's position. The missile's guidance system adjusts its trajectory mid-flight using the target's infrared signature. Many modern tanks attempt to obscure this signature with solutions like special paints, the Javelin is often deployed in small outposts or observation points where armored vehicles lack visibility. With an optical zoom of 4 times and a thermal zoom of 12 times, it can be the first response to an unexpected tank invasion. Although it weighs 15 kilograms when loaded, it can be fired from a crouched or even seated position, being much lighter than other long-range missiles that require a tripod. The Javelin uses non-rechargeable lithium sulfur dioxide batteries that last three hours before needing replacement. This is additional equipment that soldiers must carry in conflicts like Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya.
During these wars, the Javelin stood out for its accuracy, allowing targets to be hit without collateral damage unlike mortars or artillery. In Iraq, Javelins destroyed several tanks, including models like the Type 69 and Lion of Babylon, though none were cutting edge. After the conventional phase of the conflict, the Javelin was primarily used to eliminate smaller, softer targets, such as insurgents armed with machine guns or missiles. Its precision made it ideal for long-range attacks. However, the Javelin has certain limitations in urban environments, where operators must consider obstacles like cables and traffic signs that could interfere with the missile's path. One of the biggest drawbacks of the Javelin is its high cost. The launch system cost approximately $230,000, and each missile $120,000. This means that each shot is valued at around $350,000. Additionally, its high price is due to its limited production, which requires state-of-the-art components and complex manufacturing processes. In some cases, the cost of the missile exceeds the value of the target, such as when destroying a simple enemy vehicle. Despite this, compared to the high operational costs of fighter jets or large troop deployments, the Javelin can be a more cost-effective option. Since its introduction, just over 5,000 Javelin missiles have been launched. This system is one of the most effective in the U. The U.S. has sold Javelins to several NATO countries like France and the United Kingdom, as well as allies in the Middle East like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates and Asia-Pacific nations like Australia, Indonesia, and Taiwan. Due to its significant capability, the sale of Javelins is subject to political and military considerations. In 2014, the U.S. provided Javelin missiles to Ukraine, which had been crucial on the battlefield especially during the Russian invasion of 2022 where many Russian tanks were neutralized. Russia, aware of the Javelin's capabilities, has developed countermeasures for its latest tanks such as radar reactive armor and active protection systems that include multispectral grenades and flares to divert the missiles. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, where there's new content every day and many surprises coming soon. Don't miss them. Without further ado, I wish you an excellent day.